Hi everyone, this is Streams. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to show you two knots today. And one knot will link to the other one. So you can do these knots at any part of the rope. You don't need an end to do these knots. First one is a lark's head and the second one is an alpine butterfly. So you see here, I've just got a length of rope in the middle and I've put two loops so that these parts are going over the top of this back part here. Can you see that? And all you do is bring that together and you've got what they call a lark's head. The alpine butterfly is a variation of this knot. Uh, well, it's a bit added onto this knot. When you make a lark's head, you would bring them together like that. If you cross them in like, like so, so put one in front of the other, um, and then bring the, the bottom piece out, put it through there, you make an alpine butterfly. It's a nice neat knot, okay? So I'll do that one more time so you can see, and then we'll go on to the second way of tying an alpine butterfly. So we've made a lark's head. The lark's head will be folded over like that. For the alpine butterfly, you cross these two over, and hold it in the middle and then you get this part and put it through the two loops that you've made in the lark's head you pull that tight pull them apart and you have the alpine butterfly okay it's good for climbing it's good for i use it on ridge lines sometimes to uh, create a pulley system see my other videos for that um so the second way of tying the alpine butterfly is you wrap it around your hands it's classic one wrap two wraps and three wraps the third wrap goes in the middle so this is one this is two this is three you get two and put it over the first one and three underneath like that you pull the rest tight and you've got the alpine butterfly again so we'll try that one more time so one two three like that pull them all tight and it should look like that okay thanks for watching stay tying knots